Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe right now, okay? And so if you have been supporting me, thank you so much and guys, uh, I'm so grateful to each and every one of you and um, yeah, this is the family is growing. So thank you so, 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 so much and uh, welcome, okay? So today we're going to react to our sister, our Ghanaian sister, Stella Shinali. And so she's in Mombasa. Uh, and so uh, the, 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 the reaction today is about the palm wine tapped from a coconut tree in Kenya, and this will shock you. Well, you know, I had no idea that, you know, you could tap the coconut, um, you know, wine uh, from the palm wine from a coconut tree. I had no idea. To be honest, I had no idea. So I'm here to be educated by Stella. And thank you so much, Stella, for visiting our beautiful country. And welcome. So let's go. Hi guys, Hi. you're back again Charlie. If today is yes. your first time on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends. Guys, right, make sure you do the same thing. Okay, thank you guys. I am live in Kenya, Mombasa. Mm. Look at the way my dancing moves have come. And guys, since I came here, I've been doing village vlogs mm -hmm. in Mombasa. Have you checked it out? If you haven't, go back to my YouTube channel and check it out. So I, I was so fascinated about something. I realize there are a lot of coconut trees here just because mm -hmm. they are located on the coastal and um, yeah right that's what i was going to say it's always uh, all around the coastal region of mombasa so diani malindi lamu you have so many uh palm trees there of kenya and guys did you know that they actually tap palm wine from the coconut tree it's new to me because in ghana if you guys mm. watch my previous video you realize they have to cut down the palm tree not coconut trees and then that's mm. how they produce coco um, palm wine. This is different. Come and take a look at this. Just look at this. So this is a coconut tree. This is how a coconut tree looks like. So they create holes in between the coconut tree so mm -hmm. they can yeah. easily climb. Which makes it easier to climb. Uh, but I feel, so if in Ghana you cut down the trees and that is uh, not so good for the environment, well, I don't know if they, do they cut up the, the, the dead palm trees or do they cut just any, do you have like, coconut farms uh, where you can just cut off and then they plant them again so let me know Stella or if you're from Ghana and you know more about how um you know the the, the palm trees are cut down let me know uh, in the comment section climb up to the tree right now you guys know I know nothing about how palm wine is tapped here and so let's go let's speak to the the, the experts the right. expert is going to show us how things are done here Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go right into the video. Please, what is your name? What is his name? Oh, your intro is so nice. John, John. Okay, so he's going to tap some palm wine, and he has um a pot, mm -hmm. um a container. Ooh. This is how it looks wait, like. Wait, oh, wait, oh, look at this, Ghana. Oh yeah, he's trying to call. Okay, we have Ghana. Oh, uh, he's representing. Oh. Okay, him. <laughs> Guys, he's rep representing Ghana already. Yeah. Look, look at him. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so he's nice. going to pump um tap the palm wine, Fantastic. and this is very different. So yeah, yeah. So this is how he's climbing. He's climbing it through the holes here. Mm. He has created holes on top of wow. the tree. And, and he makes it look so easy to do so. It's crazy. I love this. How he's going to climb till he gets the palm wine at the top. Wow. I'm very much interested what goes up there. What? You see that thing on top there? Yeah, the white thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You shouldn't have height phobia. You should not. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I think he's been climbing like since he's a young boy. And to him, it's it's no big deal. He went up there in like, you know, not even a minute. That's crazy. I love that. And the view is amazing. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, I think it's a pity that he didn't have like a camera at the top just to, for him to film what he was doing at that point, like a GoPro or something. It would have been really interesting to see uh, 
from the top, okay? Um, or am I speaking too fast? Let's see, let's see. The way he's okay, yeah. climbing uh, down. It would have been so nice to see uh, him doing the thing at the top. I'm um, so effortless. Effortless. Nice. <laughs> wow. And the fact that he's representing Ghana is what amazes me. So... My friend, how do you get the palm wine there? Okay, you can speak your local dialect. Yeah. Okay, so how do you get the palm wine up there? All he's trying to say, this is actually not a fresh branch. This is actually... Um, a dried one, but I want to demonstrate how it is done here. The what branch that is maturing at the top, fresh branch, okay. what they do is they cut this part, they cut this part with a sharp mm. knife. So they cut the part, then I believe they pour maybe there's some liquid in the branches. And then they put this part into the bottle. So the palm wine is produced as a result of the fluid from this branch into the container. So that is what he's trying to see. So they keep they first cut like this, wait for three days, they come and fetch, the next day they cut. So they keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, so they get to like the roots of it, oh. and then that means that this plant is like... Oh, I didn't know that. I had no idea. Let me know in the comment section below if you're from Mombasa, and if you've ever tasted the palm wine. Is it good? I would love, I think next time I come, I have to taste the palm wine. That would be really nice. Done, done, done. Then they move to another one. And guys, you know... And so my question is, when they cut the branch, uh, so when they cut off the, the, the branch from the top, does it dry off? And that, is that the reason why it falls off the tree? Um, how does it work? Let me know if you know in the comment section. That this one, they said it takes like three days. It's because the, the palm mm. are small. That's why it takes three days for you to get it, for you to get the palm wine. Unlike um, the ones that is done in Ghana where they cut the whole palm the whole palm tree down. This is not done like that. So this tree is still alive and it will still be alive. Yeah. So and I feel it's still, you know, it's more ecological. Let me know what you think. I think those are just two different methods, but do they taste the same? So I believe Stella has already tasted the, the palm wine in Ghana and now she's going to taste the one in Kenya. So I'm curious to know if they test, they taste the same. So continually producing more palm wine every day, every day till the plants decide to die, which is actually a good thing. And it's very different. So I feel like, wow, why not share this? And so if you guys, have you guys seen this type before? Is this, is this how palm wine is tapped in your country? If not, let me know in the comment section. So yeah, that's how it's done. And this is really, 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 really surprising. I can understand why it's not too sweet like um, the palm nuts because of how it's um, because of how it's uh, being prepared. But this is very, very fascinating. It means that God is so wonderful because the coconut tree right. produces coconut fluid for us to drink, right. coconut fruit for us to eat, and then now another extra fluid for palm wine. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Right. Very, very amazing. So let me see the palm wine. So guys, this is how the palm wine looks like. Mm. I can't wait to taste it. It looks like coconut milk. You know, what's the difference? Munazi. So in Swali, it's called Munazi. Okay. So how long yeah, Which is Munazi? It's coconut. Um, and then you have, yeah, and then the coconut milk. It's Munazi as well. So I'm I'm just thinking to myself, is it the same thing like when you when you cut um, coconut and then you get the, the coconut milk from it? Is it the same thing or is it different from the coconut milk? I've been doing this. Uh, five years. Five years. Mm. Is it good business here? It's good business. Yeah, because I guess it's 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 um how do you say the the wine is cheaper so you have more and more customers it's natural so i think oh okay oh because it's affordable it's right. affordable oh exactly. wow oh this is interesting so would you teach me how to climb the tree <laughs> <laughs> you can teach me he's okay. not convinced he's not convinced at all but why not okay i'll wear a short and come
coconut milk. That's crazy. I'm going to be tasting the palm wine. Oh, is that a straw? And this is how it looks like. Wow. Cheers, guys. You know, shine is caring. This is just, eh? Oh, nice. So, cheers. What's that? To sieve. Ah, to sieve. Yeah. To sieve. This one is sieving. To sieve this one is oh. for sieving. Oh, okay. So you have to sieve with it. Oh, wow. So, this is, this is locally made. It's just to sieve the the nyama nyama, the nyama 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 nyama. <laughs> yeah, so ready to drink. Cheers. Just yeah, show them and tell them how much the bottle goes for. How much? Ah. Wow. Mm. This is different. <laughs> so the palm wine we have in Accra, Ghana, is much sweeter than this. This is fresh. Okay. It was just taken from the top, as you saw earlier on, and it's um. It's sweet, not too sweet like ours, but it has a sour taste. Okay. And it, it feels like it contains alcohol, even though it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Unlike our own, where you have to let it ferment for a long time before mm -hmm. it becomes alcohol. This is like alcohol, alcohol. Because I feel, I feel, I feel the sourness. Yeah, Guys, do you want to taste it? Do you want no. to taste it? Taste what I'm tasting? Yeah, I would love to taste it. That that's crazy. My goodness, I've never I didn't know palm wine existed, first of all. Uh I didn't know that um I mean I didn't know uh how it was tapped and I did I had no idea that it has like it's it has like this alcohol taste to it. So it will be interesting to see how it tastes. And so does it mean that if you take Two or three more of those, you will just like stagger around. You'll be drunk. I will be so curious to know. Let me know. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, mm. that's how it is. It's it's uh, it's not as sweet as the palm, and it's it's it, it contains like you actually taste like you are drinking alcohol. I'm sure okay. after I'm drinking this thing, I'll be drunk. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if you were drunk after that. I would be so curious to know. So, a, bo a bottle like this is like 120 mm. Kenyan shillings. And so, yeah, a bottle like this. Okay. One liter. One liter. One liter is 120 Kenyan shillings. Just take a close look at this particular one. Mm -hmm. There's also one here. Can you see it? Wow. Kenya is so beautiful. My goodness, I love it. The coastal region is so beautiful. So guys, I'm going to attempt climbing the tree. Yes, I'm going to do so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I give up. I give up. This is not a lady's man job. Can you do it? I call you. You need to wear some shoes because your feet are too soft for that. I think you need like. Um, an anti slippery shoe thing, I guess, for you to go higher. I don't know. Yes, you can climb. Yeah, all right. Go on, let me see. <laughs> so she's she's telling me that it's very easy Ooh. to climb. Wow, wow, wow. That's fantastic. And I feel it looks it looks safe because uh, you have your hands wrapped around the tree, then you can just climb as if it's a, some stairs. But I wouldn't be so comfortable comfortable going all the way up because coming down, I think, will be a problem. I would be, like, so stressed to fall or something. She climbed. Wow. That's wow. good. That's good. Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Guys, this is not for <laughs> the city people. I tell you. Wow. <laughs> Stella's energy. She's such a ah. Uh, she's a ball of energy. I just love her vibe. She's she's crazy. I like her. So now that's a way to say goodbye to us because we are guests. 
that's a way to say goodbye. I enjoyed palm wine. I enjoyed the village food here. And so, guys, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, and this is the first, this is the first time on my YouTube channel, just know that we are family. Right. Once you've watched this video to this end, we are here to stay. I love you all. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. That was a nice one. It just took me back, back to, to Mombasa. I love this town. It's beautiful. The people are beautiful, beautiful culture. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to more videos, Stella, if you make any from Mombasa. And that would be so, so nice to, to react to them as well. So if you enjoyed my reaction, please make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, guys. And so until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.